Ooh, we got a good episode for episode four. Damn, episode four already. Well, only because I'm doing these back to back. So this one doesn't say that he has to be anonymous, but I'm not sure how to um, pronounce his name. So, Juicep. Juicep, what's up, man? I'm Steve. You probably know that, I guess, since you emailed me. Uh, I wanted to ask your advice. I am a gay 15-year-old boy, and I came out to my family about six months ago. They took it quite well, but from time to time, me and my mom have a conversation about it. She keeps asking me that how can I know if I'm gay or not if I haven't had any sexual experiences with girls or boys. I tell her that it's just something you know and this is who I am and nothing's going to change that. Do you have any advice on how to explain to someone why I'm so sure of my sexuality? Love your poetry and thank you. First off, thank you for saying you love my poetry. It means the world to me. Um, Joseph, I feel like I'm not pronouncing that right, so just kind of go with me. Um, listen, man, you know it, that question happens a lot when you come out. Uh, how can you be sure? Um, well, have you ever been with a girl? Uh, well, have you ever been with a boy? It, it's like right on the border of like the next couple of questions where it's like, well, have you tried not being gay? Like, these are kind of like things that people, like they're, they're scared for you. Okay, you're a 15 year old dude. It's your mom, like she wants you to have the best life, like an easy going life, okay? She wants you to have the best experience. And when a parent from that generation, from her different generation, uh, hears that her son's gay, all she pictures for you is like struggle. It makes your life more difficult. So you can't blame her for holding on to the hope that you know, you'll have an easier life because you might be straight. Um, you can't, you can't fault a parent on that because they, and their heart of hearts, what they want for you is the best kind of life. And when they hear the gay thing, they think, then it might not be that easy for you. So they're holding on hope that, you know, it'll be seamless. And it's not, and it's not for anyone, you know? It's, it's, it, it might be easier being straight in certain scenarios, but you know, being gay is pretty freaking dope, trust me. How do you explain that you're sure of your sexuality? Um, you don't, you don't, you don't owe it to people to say, like, no, I'm 100% positive. Like if you say it, that should be enough. Like you making that declaration is enough for you, right? Like, is it enough for you to say like, hey, I'm gay, and then it's off your chest and the idea is out of your body. So at that point, you are relinquished of your obligation if you felt an obligation to come out to this person. You are done. Now it is up to them to then accept that information. Like, unless you grab the guy and was like, mom, just watch. Like, like maybe that would like convince her and the argument wouldn't happen again. But really, she has to do it on her own time. As long as it took you to accept yourself, it's gonna take her some time to accept you for who you are, especially if she didn't expect it. Let her ask those questions and try to be as nice as possible about it. Be like, yeah, mom, like I'm still gay. Like I'm not planning on going to the other side anytime soon. Um, that's the best thing you can do. So you know, let her, let her take the time. She might just need some time, um, but it's hard, you know? It's hard for a parent to hear that their kid is going to have um, struggle. No, no parent wants their kid to struggle unless they think it'll toughen them up or something. In that case, whatever, uh, it's different parenting. But you know what, uh, it's cool that your mom accepts you. You know, she might be asking these questions, but she's not saying like, get out, you know? So uh, yeah, I would say, you know, count your blessings. You got somebody on your team. She, she wants to be sure that you're sure so that she can worry accordingly. Um, but let her do that, you know, it's part of the natural process. So let her do it on her own time. And I hope that helps, man. Uh, that's episode four, four. And if you haven't watched episodes one, two, and three, maybe check them out. Maybe you don't. Maybe this is the best one. Who knows? Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. That seems to be super important. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video coming up next.